something off is usually pretty simple. Rotate the key, click the switch. But for some reason, turning off your computer is this complicated ordeal. I mean, arguably, it isn't difficult to click start then shut down or just tap the button on your chassis. But instead of turning off instantly, your PC always goes to some kind of program that can last for minutes before it finally powers down. Well, hold on a minute. Why can't I just hold on the button for 5 seconds or flip the switch at the back to force an instant shutdown? Well, it turns out that there is a method to all the madness. You see, when you click that shutdown button, your computer goes through a series of steps that are primarily designed to protect your data. Killing the power abruptly while you have unsaved work on your screen means that the work is probably lost for good. And even though some modern programs have auto-save feature, they are far from perfect. One of the delays that you might encounter is the PC prompting you to save anything that you might have opened like a word document or an image that you are editing. But there are also less evident things going on in the background. Chief among these is that your operating system sends a signal to all running programs and services that it's time to power down. So it tells these programs to wrap up whatever they are doing, kind of like a parent trying to tell their hyperactive kids to lie down for the evening. This is important because these programs and services may be in the middle of writing your data onto the disk. And this could be anything from a program update to a file download to the registry key being modified. So there is a common theme here. Then the very real risk of your data corruption. If you just power down your computer without warning, it's a little bit like yanking a cake out of the oven without checking if it's done. That cake might not be anything that you would like to eat. The half written data might not be anything that your computer can actually use. And because of the way some computer drives and file systems work, you might not only corrupt the data that was being written down at the time of power down. You also might corrupt other files that are in cache or a nearby physical location on your device. Fortunately, file system being used in modern versions of Windows and NTFS has a feature called journaling. Essentially, that means that it keeps a log of data changes to reduce the risk of corruption. However, the problems can still occur if you don't shut down your computer off properly. Hence, the disk checks messages that you sometimes get when powering your system back on after a power outage or similarly bringing us to one of the biggest reasons why people force a system reset, system update that seem to take an eternity when you just need to wrap up some work and go to sleep. Well, there's a reason that your screen explicitly tells you not to turn off the power. During a typical power loss, you're likely to lose a bit of unsaved work. But turning off your PC during an update can result to problems that will prevent the system from even booting back up, such as corrupted half-written registry files or system files. So I would even suggest that plugging your computer into an UPS or making sure that your laptop is fully charged during updates isn't a bad idea. Basically, the moral of the story is that unless your computer is hopelessly frozen and you have no choice but to kill the power completely, Make sure you turn off your system properly. It may take a little more time, but trust me, it's way easier than to reinstall Windows or try to recover a saved game that you might have done 500 hours in. So guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe.